Okay. okay. Today's date, 14 August 2015, time 10.45 a.m. Okay, this poodle, male, not, not neutered, is 14 years old. And uh, what happened was the owner brought it in on the 10th, uh, which is four days ago, because the dog was not eating, right? Yeah, no uh, appetite, very weak. Mm. And then you rain a lot, drink a lot of water. Well, that was after the heart medication mm. tablets. Uh, so that, those, those are side effects of heart medication. Mm. But uh, but now what, what what happened now? I mean, after the blood test, blood test shows uh, shows increase in uh, white cells, white, white blood cells uh, increase, and uh, neutrophils increase, as well as uh, The kidney, liver, kidney and liver enzymes are increased. Uh. The liver enzymes increase. Um, normally, it should be very little. Yeah. The kidney enzymes are increased. So this shows that the dog has a uh, bacterial infection uh, at that time, uh, on the on the eleventh of August, about three days ago. So uh, this has the dog recovered? I'm not sure, leh. No, but and appetite wise. Uh, he can eat a bit already. He eat can eat more. Yeah. Eat more. Uh. So, this dog is very poor, so the immune system is very poor due to the patient. Yeah. Now, the thing is that once the bacteria goes in, it, it's a very hard to eradicate because the immune system is poor. And uh, what happened is you can see the tongue is a bit purplish. And uh, the teeth has been extracted, so there's no teeth, or not many teeth, except the, the two canines. Uh, yeah, it's still, canine, yeah. it's still infected, you see, you can see uh, uh, this canine teeth. So, according to the owner, the dog has much shown some improvement on the appetite. Uh. So now, we take the temperature, it was below normal, which is same as just not the dog. So in this case, we know from blood test that this dog has uh, septicemia, because the white cells are high, neutrophils are high, and, uh, and the, there was antibiotics given? Yeah. Yeah, so the dog was on oral antibiotics, but the temperature hasn't come back to normal. So it's 37.6, which is below normal. Now there seems to be some swelling also in the abdomen. Is it normal, this swelling? I don't think so. Eh. I just I also feel like it. it some swelling in the abdomen. Uh, so this could be due to the fluid. Uh, fluid from... Uh, it's like this. Uh, okay. if you hold the armpit, let me just turn upside down already. One, two, three. So we we'll, we'll after that and check. Yeah, now definitely, the stomach, no? uh, there's abdominal swelling, mm -hmm. and this part is so uh, infected. Uh. This is abnormal, right? Is it like that? Normally? Yeah, it is like that. Okay, so the dog, the testicles are here, and there's abdominal swelling. So this could be a sign of a uh, fluid, fluid inside the abdomen from the liver or kidney. Uh, Information. So, I would, I would propose that the dog be given the drip and IV antibiotics and uh, propose so that uh, they will recover faster with the IV antibiotics rather than oral. Yeah. Okay, so it's up to her whether she wants to. Uh -huh. I'll explain to her.